Thanks, Paul. Thanks, Ian. How are you? All good, man. Very good. Just, uh, just tell me a little bit about the extra year, another year uh, in blue. Uh, what's driving you? What's keeping you going? Everything. What's not? What's stopping me? I suppose uh, it's just such a good environment to be in and, and an opportunity to do another year with what I love. Uh, it'll be long enough after not playing rugby, you know, so I'll um, enjoy every bit of it that I can. Is there any sense of unfinished business after losing the last couple of finals in the semi final before that? Um, no, there's business not yet tended to, so opportunity I suppose there's um opportunity of a whole new season to go at it again and that's that's still not even to be looked at yet you know with, with the remainder of this one to deal with so um you know it's just it's just I love what I do and I love the people I do it with and and the environment that we have and it's a happy place to wake up and come into in the morning I mean you're right you're going to be retired for long enough um but do you think do you think you'll stay in rugby when you do stop your playing days? Do you think you'll stay in coaching or you do with Johnny Sexton and just complete the leave for the moment anyway? I don't know, yeah. Um it appeals to me a bit, yeah. It's it's starting to appeal to me a bit. I I'm starting to like dealing with props like <laughs> so if I can broaden that a bit maybe, but uh, I don't know. We'll see. Very good. Um, what are you expecting from us this weekend? Any sense of going day one from, from the, the match at the RDS earlier this season? Um, yeah, well, they, they exposed us in, in quite a few areas in that game and, and got us on the edges and in behind us. So um, that's that's a lot of what the backs will deal with. And, and then how it is with us, it's to to front up up, up at the up in the tight trenches and, and deal with that side of it to, to let our backs play and release them. and give them enough space to defend properly so um yeah it's 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 a challenge it's a tough challenge and uh they're going all right they're going well so um you know it's something we have to have to give full full concentration on and how we show up and prepare for training so it's um it's it's pretty full steam ahead in here very good and obviously the focus this week is is on um, Ulster, but I mean, on your day off yesterday, did you look at the Toulouse match, top of the table clash against uh, Stade Francais? Do you, do you look at that as a matter of course, or just watch the highlights, or just see, see the result? Uh, no, I helped my wife plan for a business trip this week, yesterday, so uh, I'll look at that game at some point during the week, uh, next week. Very good, and just the last one on that, um, you obviously won the last two semi-finals with Toulouse kind of beaten early on. There were hard matches, but their discipline kind of went early on, especially last year. Is there anything to be gained, gained from watching those matches, or do you expect a completely different proposition uh, in London in two weeks? Um, I expect Ulster to be very strong this weekend, and that's what I'm preparing for. Super, okay. Best of luck for the week. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Ian. Good to see you. Oh, yeah. Just on, just on the prospect of, of you know thinking beyond a playing career, what's got you kind of half thinking about maybe your role in coaching or <coughs> the props? What's what's changed or when did that change? Um, I don't know. Uh, a couple of things in Irish camp over the last while and through Leinster a little bit that I've been able to fix fix issues and stuff when it's not necessarily me in there. Um, probably being in this in this bench role uh, has allowed me to see more, I suppose, of what goes on and, and how I look at how I look at things. Um, I don't know, yeah, the the problem solving of us uh, has I've enjoyed that and, and it's worked it's worked for the most part. So um, yeah, gave it a bit more of an appeal to me now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, still not in the side yet, I'm sure. But I mean, you've nearly twenty years as a professional rugby player behind you. But is 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 the most is the most difficult part of that, regardless of what decision you take, is it knowing how to impart that information? Is that the hardest thing to learn? Because it's all in there, it's all in the head. But 
you know, knowing one thing and explaining it to some rookie prop coming up um, through the ranks in the schools or the academy, that's, that's a different thing entirely. Yeah, exactly. Um, I think that's probably the bit I think I'm doing all right at and I can figure that out. It's, I think it'll be all the rest of it. I think it'll be how you manage seasons of coaching and and what what drives you when you're not talking out at the weekend and how you how you do all that and where where the stimulation comes from and you know I've, I've talked to Foggs in the past about it and and he's given me some some really good answers on that sort of stuff but um you know it's it's, it's not for now like it's that's that's yeah. fine Absolutely. Just in terms of the rest of the season, then, Dean, you know, especially with Andrew, I think in all your time, I think you've done the double once. And people talk about the massive resources, strength and depth, playing personnel that Leicester have. But the fact that you've only done the double in the League Cup once, I think, proves just how difficult it is. What was the difference in 2018? Or was there a difference? Is it the pounce of the ball? Is it something you did? What got you over the line in two competitions in one year? And meant you haven't been able to do it any other time? Um, we probably learned a lot from the earlier European wins and and how we completely screwed up the following week by celebrating too hard and whatnot. But um, yeah, like luck comes in, planning comes in, loads of stuff come in as well. But like there's, yeah, there's more like the small learnings like that and, and how, how you stay job focused and and how I don't know. It's a hard. That's a hard one to probably explain how you how you carry yourself around two competitions and the, with the intention to win both competitions. And I mean, you're not the first player we've spoken to in the last week who, when we've tried to, to bring the conversation on to too loose, you you shut it down immediately. I'm sure that's something you spoke about literally within hours or, or a day or two of the, the Northampton win that the need not to look too far ahead, not to get too far ahead of yourselves. Like that's what happens, like you we could screw up our whole league by focusing on next week. We 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 do well in the early part of the season because we're day by day, week by week and and there's no reason to vary off that just because it's business end of the season. It's that's that's the model that works and that's how players are trained that's how players are cultured from kids now it's it's week by week don't look forward and you know that's that's the Leinster way and and it's a way that works and it's a way that keeps people focused on the task at hand just finally for me then um i have to ask you about you you brought the champions cup appearance record your new contract puts you there thereabouts in terms of being a record caps holder and all this kind of stuff. I'm sure you're going to think that's, you're going to tell us it's a, it's a team game and that's all for post career, but can you actually believe that you're on the cusp of these things or that you are achieving these things um, at the age of, I think, 36? You know, can you stop and think for a second to appreciate how, how cool that must be? Um, like a little bit, like, yeah, a bit, but at the same time, I probably think that's not for me. It's that's something my kids might enjoy down the line. Like that's I um yeah, it's like it's a lot of opportunities to play in a competition that I love and that's class. The more I can play in that competition the better I love it. Like I think it's great. I love the tests against different teams like that and and those opportunities. Um and to have gotten to do it that many times is, yeah, I like that. That's class. Cheers. Best of the weekend. Thanks, Bill. Cheers. All right, thanks, folks. We'll send out the high definition. Thank you, man. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. Can, go can on. I ask just one very quickly? No, just one very quickly, Kim. Now, in terms of the longevity that Lads talked about there, it, it struck me that you made your lens to debut against a team that no longer exists in the board of readers, which I guess shows the passing of time. Does it feel like 17, 18 years, whatever it is? Does the body and the mind feel that long? How do you feel after all this time? Um, no, but there's a lot of life experiences in between, and it feels like 
they're all crammed into about five years. <laughs> um, it doesn't feel that long yeah. ago, no. Uh, we we play a game in here of guess the lads starting 50, or guess the lads match day 23. Um, so like Lukey McGrath had it, and it's games on the bus on the way to, on travel days or whatever. and. We were guessing my own, and it was getting it was getting a good few laughs out of the boys. All right, yeah. 